go. A lot of bumping going on. I think it's going to be what? Zach Bell with the whole shot in his first pro race. It was one of Moto at this track every year we've raced here. He is in 19th place. Animal at times. It, it seems like he. Oh, oh, big mistake there by Muscan. I don't know how we give it out here. But, uh, it, it's, it's, it would be a nice gesture, but I'm not sure that. <laughs> No, again, if Marsha has won a moto every year he has raced here, also won his first ever national at this track back east. You got to beat Zach Bell today to keep that alive. And this is going to be the real test for Bell here, Jeff. Typically, riders that come out of the uh, amateur ranks are good for about that. And then to get past that, and the plus the speed. Well, the difference, by the way, when Tomac won uh, his first race, he starts this year. They definitely have their engine packages dialed in and performing. Uh, at that peak level, amateur racing, the races are so quick. Being a good starter is really important. And uh, so you combined all that. And uh, knocking on the door for a moto win. Well, it doesn't get much better if your guy go hot. Big changes here at Southwick live coverage. We have a new leader and a new second place man as well. First, we're going to take you through how Eli... 18-minute mark here, and Tomac gets to the inside of Bell. Bell knows he's there, chooses to go. He's racing for a championship. He didn't want to hold him up. But then, unfortunately, it all went down for him. Yeah, it goes by with a commanding lead, 10 seconds over Muscan. Yeah, Tomac really... That, uh, second moto with this lead he has? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to help him big time. Eli Tomac takes the win with a big margin. Southway. Bunch of whole shots last weekend, and he's got another one. And Dakota is second. second. And Tomac is a one and two. Oh, 30 38. Osborne makes a mistake. He was running third. He had to oh. with this. Look at this section here. That's where Stewart went down in the 450 moto. They've taken the bulldozers out and smoothed out that second with Will Hahn right in front of him. And you can hear the fans here in New England are pumped for the local product on the 613. Oh, and Tomac, final Geico Honda rider, Justin Bogle just behind Roxon. And somewhere, Tomac slipped into the lead past his teammate, and the Ripa... We're going to put the whole shot engine in. Okay. It's only going to last 10 minutes. <laughs> but it's got some horsepower. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tomac lost a lot of time. He turned to 208, or that was two laps ago. Now he goes back down to a 159. So now that he's cruising out in the lead with about an eight-second gap ahead of Blake Baggett, you've got to wonder... Live on Fuel TV, Eli Tomac on the Geico Honda is rolling right now. He went to war with this sand track. Fastest lap has gone to Tomac, Baggett, Roxon uh, at one point, but cut that lead basically in half. We gained five, be down four heading into the second moto. So there's even the potential that Tomac could leave today carrying the second moto last week at Bud's Creek, and he's going to win the first moto here at Southwick. Eli Tomac here at Southwick, and we're back. Up in the background. We'll have to find out who went down, but what a start. And look at Muskin. Yeah, coming right. Oh, nice move to get around. I think that's Nicoletti there for Roxy. Yeah, Nicoletti on the 34. Now Roxy going after Weston Pike. There's a reason why he's trying to get through. He wants some, he doesn't want to be eating roost this whole moto. He's got the pace, got some motos. It helps, trust me, it all helps. Got yeah, uh, Tomac here on the outside trying to pack here inside the top five. Oh, Tomac cuts straight across to make the move up high. Roxon yeah. just uh, absolutely dissects the field in the first two to three laps. Radar at the moment, so tough break for Marsha. Yeah, definitely not how you want to start your day at the wick. And look at that. Up seal the deal. He's in the third. So this is going to be interesting. You see Roxon takes a little look over, constantly on the power. So you see him roll that, uh, basically take out the free play. I don't even know what you're playing. Roxon now starting to find some new lines. Try to attack Vogel with. And try to oh, look at Tomac up the inside. Feet right up the there. pace. Look at that corner speed. Tomac is on rails right now. Cool. By the way, I just want to say best moto finish of the year for him is a six. This is outstanding. Oh, he takes the line away from Roxon. And Southwick, the national. Look at this. Tomac just charges up the inside. Woo! That was a power. Wow. That, that was, was incredible. Oh, but then a mistake. I don't know if he missed a gear or something coming out of the corner, lost his drive. The Rocks of these guys, it's it's pretty much about supremacy right now. Who is the man? It's been Roxon to go, and now he's going the long way around. So he's going to go wherever Bogle doesn't. Uh, you can maybe in the line he wants, but it's the line he has to use. Oh, he's going to try it, and Bogle again with the block. It will not follow, but the lines blend together in that corner. That corner almost creates two lines back into one. One-handed through that section, got some... 
Head shake and is still going for it. Oh, Down the inside. inside. Coming to this next corner. What's going to happen? Roxon squares it up. He's got it. Roxon makes Ooh. it happen. They almost touched there. Now he's on the outside. Bogle riding a little bit protective, but Tomac carries a ton of speed around the Really on rails at the moment. Gets around. That's exactly what he needed. And now he's trying that. So now right on him. This is what we've wanted to see. Tomac now putting the pressure on Rocks at one and two. But just like at Muddy Creek, every time Tomac comes close, oh no. Had to wipe the So I'm curious if he's out of tear off because Jason, like I said before, in, out of every corner right there, boom. Slides. Roxon does the same thing. Roxon probably trying to figure out what these guys are doing because he hears everyone come up the left side. Now they cross lines. Roxon goes to the inside. Tomac cannot follow because... Yeah, he's got to just pick his spot. Can't just put the pressure on the guy. Yeah, so... Oh, speaking of it. that... Whoa. Unbelievable, he made it happen! Set or more on your insurance. Now, is Eli Tomac about to build an insurance gap over Ken Roxon? Three months, wasn't able to uh, ride that much because it hurt. Uh, finally now getting his strength back as we starting to heat up this second half uh, stretch run. This is an amazing ride. He's been heating up for a little while. I think he can run the pace. But today, he looks like he's on rails. But I can't believe how he's dropped Roxon. Unbelievable, yeah. Well, no problem to the bikes right now because he's been able to coast around these final couple of laps and save a little something. Eli Tobin! Moto win of the day. Oh, For Bogle, but here comes Christoph Porcel, the oh. Frenchman on the 377, wants to take it away. Make it happen there, but he still goes for it. Oh, and he rams Bogle's front wheel, and Bogle goes down. It's a long way around on a smooth line. He's got it. Has he? Yes, he seals the deal. So Roxon, once again, wasting no time. And going to be the outside. He's going to square it up. He's yes. going for it, and he's got a power slide going. Woo. Side by side once again. The deal by the end of the straightaway. Yep, stays low there, gets a power to the ground, gets that done. To build the Red Bull Southwick National Lucas Oil Pro Moto across the rough sand track at Southwick. Fans start to come to life. They got uh, air horns. They yep. got chainsaws without chains on them. So they can... Uh, uh, anyone's friend in motocross because they don't have windshield wipers, so you can't clear it. So you have to use tarrels. It's the problem with sand, even off your own front tire. And you hear the crowd just getting pumped up again. There's Oscar Wiedemann, Ken Roxon's mechanic. Bigger factor here in the deep sand than it is on some of the other tracks. Well, they're lucky it's not 100 degrees like it often is up here. <laughs> Actually, Roxon knows he's there. He can hear him. I don't know if there's room for Tomac to make it happen here, but he's certainly putting the heat on. Very smart riding from Ken Roxon on the 94. Tomac Ooh. goes to the inside. The crowd on their feet going crazy. They want the fifth, Nicoletti sixth. Watch this. Oh, big run around the outside. Whoa. All the way around for Tomac. He's, he's got the drive, and he's going to be on the inside of the next corner. Inside all the way around. I thought, like you did, that Roxon might try to square him up. Instead, Roxon has to try to figure out a different strategy. But I'll advise you to keep your eyes on the TV screen, because this battle is great. Tomac now just trying to open oh! it up. It goes to all these races. This is a unique part of Southwick. We actually have a... Whoa! Tomac has gone down just like that. Again, Roxon. Inside, Lapras in the way, and once again, Tomac to the inside. Takes Whoa! the lead. Roxon squares it up. Roxon's going to try to beat him to the end. the inside, and... Oh, just tucks the front end. See how shiny it is. You Again, Roxon is not letting him get away. I still can't believe Tomac picked up the bike, wiped his hand, and then literally grabbed a handful of throttle. Tune motocross bikes you'll find anywhere, but there's not a solution late in the game at Southwick. Pushing, but Tomac just maybe with a few bike length leads so he doesn't have to protect the inside. See right there, come down this. At, at least for, for Tomac right now, he's got a slight clap. Gap, white flag is out. Feel the lead is coming because of the crowd and the noise and everything. This is the crowd. Woo! Not even letting up the throttle. Roxon is as close as he's been pretty much in, a, in the last few laps. He'll be back. In fact, the track closed completely. Didn't even hold local races any longer. It's been revived. Some better. And that's what you need on a track like this. Now Tomac's got a few more lap riders to get through. He does it. Eli Tomac wins. 2016. Second half of this championship is just starting. So that's big if you're Eli. Is down here in Southwick. Baggett shooting out of the middle of the number four. Oh. Baggett with your motosport.com hole shot. Whoa, a lot of carnage at turn one. It looks like over the place. I'm wondering if this track's maybe gotten a little harder or if uh, maybe tire selection affects Blake Baggett. Injured thumb or not, we don't know the extent of the damage. But it doesn't matter. It's a matter of Kenny has his hands full trying to find running room and get around Teasdale for third. Can he squeeze them off for Cali by him? He does. Yeah, good move. Might go to the outside. He goes to the inside. Go where they don't go. And we talked before the game dropped. Vision. Uh, three of the last four motos this year. 
Got a 14th in the moto last week, but that was due to a first turn crash. So Pike is right now. If you've got an injured thumb, there's a good chance it's going to get sore and weak. And look at this, Tomac. Typical Tomac style. Pike was in it. Yeah, Tomac loves these outside lines, and he has to do it. Look at that. We have not seen anyone. Tomac has got him in his radar. Oh, and Tomac strafing across the sand there. Only four minutes in, so plenty of time for Tomac to try to make this work, especially considering we don't know where Baggett is physically with that thumb injury. Team, the factory Honda. Oh, oh, Tomac has caught Baggett. We have a battle on for the lead. And won one last year, and he cuts right to the inside. Let's see if Baggett's going to try to fight him for it. That was a statement of Baggett. Look at Baggett, Look at Baggett like to trying to come exactly. back. This is, um, this is the ego oh. winner. Now, we were talking in our practice show on NBC Sports Gold. The inside, obviously, it's the shorter way around, but... <laughs> Eli Tomac, well, the only thing that could stop him today is some sort of bad luck like that. It didn't happen here at Southwick. That was a no-doubter. 30-second car to fly, racing it sideways. The gate drops right away at Southwick. And another good start for Baggett on side by side. And the Motorsport.com whole shot goes to Mustad. He was down early in our first race. Gonna have to run the gauntlet here, starting in 10. While two of the fastest there contenders, yeah, there he is on that green number three. He's down to Florida, so he's got sand experience. And then how about this? You got the, the Rockstar Husqvarna riders of uh, Martin Dalvalos. And they're basically the width of two bikes because they're side by side. So there's no place for Tomac to pass. Yeah, it's probably thinking, man, I'm not used to being behind these guys that lock. Can he get it down here? Martin Domlos didn't take the line up here. Yeah, he makes it try and work there. But seems like what, when they exit the corner, when you switch on. hasn't raced at this track since 2011. It's been so much time with injuries through the years. Uh -oh. He's trying to get his racing legs back under him. And he's also trying to have Lucas Oil for a motocross. Eli Tomac has made the move now on Blake Baggett for second. So there's your lead three at this Red Bull South. Leaves the door open, and, well, Tomac does what he normally does. Go where the guy in front doesn't. Can. So, pivotal point because Muskan needs every point he can get. This is a six-point swing. The battle it is down to these two, and you can hear the fans of Southwick are loving it. First, they responded to the huge jump that Tomac is going to air it out again. Most guys want to roll off and scrub the jump. Tomac figures he'll just find a new landing spot. <laughs> and once again, he goes, you can hear the race right now. We're going to race for 30 minutes and two laps, and you can watch the countdown clock at the top of the screen to win that. It's not like it's the last lap. I've got a little bit of time. Let me not rush this rough. But for Muskan, he was down. He had to come from way back in the back. He used every ounce of energy. Motocross so demanding at this sand track, maybe the most demanding of all. Tomac still using the outsides. There's that big jump the crowd likes. Muskin is pushing it for him. He's very cool, calm, and collected. But Tomac just looks like a rubber band that just wants to, you know, get shot. In. And he's got the inside. He goes in sideways on the jump. No, he lands too rough. Digs into the soil. Muskin still got the inside. Oh. Tomac just greased the outside of that corner to cheering. Let's be honest, probably more cheering for Tomac, the Americans, over Muskan, but we said, like you said, the free Tomac, but right when that happened, Muskan got a little squirrely coming out of there. If you had a perfect drive, hits down here. Muskan is right there, and the crowd is pumped on it. They are fired up. And these guys... Inside now. Well, now he's got clear track. He can run the lines that he wants to run. He's choosing some outside, and some it's like he was riding on the edge. Maybe he's just not comfortable with that pace. He figured, hey, I'll just back it down a little bit so far. For the second year in a row, Eli Tomac owns Southwick, Massachusetts. From Southwick. Bad jump for Parsha. He gets pinched off. Blake Baggett gonna be battling it out. And Watson somehow snuck through and got by both Baggett and Bogle. Oh. Take the lead. Side there, Justin Barsha. Good move there, not following. So a lot of our top riders up front, and I did see mm -hmm. Tomax. Look, I mean, this is opening lap. What is he? He's probably close to 10 seconds behind. And it could be worse on the opening lap, but as we could see, it was chaotic. He probably was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Going to social media to talk about it. Here he is dancing down to the inside and a quick move on Bogle, and I think you're right, Grant. In the moto, the heat's starting to pick up. This is awesome. Look at that. There comes Tomac. We're about to have a four-way battle for the lead. He oh. slowed up on the entrance of the about, corner. How about Tomac? He really just made the pass on Roxon. He wins in no time. Roxon trying to come back. Guys are just seem to be elevating every time. Bosch are very comfortable here. Marvin, a lot of experience. That's not a good line from Bosch. We saw Marvin. You're not going to like what you see. Look at this. 
Oh, Tomac, there just wasn't any running room in that corner. He entered wide. She becomes the fastest line as the day goes on. Basha was trying to make a run for it. Mushkin said not so quick. Letting Muskan get a wheel on it. And Tomac is right there. Muskan had to get back to the inside to block him. Doesn't matter right now. He's oh, got the flag. Wow. Muskan, that's the same area where we went flying off the track yeah. last year with a huge crash. Now, Tomac. He's going to want to do the same thing. Get around Barsha quick. He's got the inside. I don't think Barsha. this condition. Not saying that Barsha does it, but Barsha rides with a very aggressive technique. And sometimes he, he did it and he got there. But getting around Marvin has been tough. This is about as close as they have been in the last three laps. Oh, sorry, it didn't help Eli, but then the next didn't help Marvin. So it's even up and right back where it was, which is Tomac right behind Ooh. Muskan Only for him because he's dealing with Eli. Eli's gonna make a big push around the outside. There's the mechanic, Brian Kranz, cheering his man on. Oh, Marvin Field. As he normally does. He's strong under breaking into these turns. He's, yeah, his patience is now done. His battle here at the wick. Big outside line push for Tomac. Switches back to the inside in the exit of the corner. Marvin's gonna have to go outside to block it, and he does. He can, but Marvin always just able to close the door so far. This is when the, the intensity picks up. You don't wait for your favorite spot. Ah, uh, they just got the two-lap card, less than two laps to go. Oh, the crowd is going crazy here. This is what they wanted to see. Come well, back the wide line into this pit. They're going to jump back into it again. There, you can almost hear them echoing through the valley. Oh, Other side line for Tomac. Big charge. Oh. Roost gets up the meter moves spot. Incredible how much Roost Tomac has taken on yeah. throughout this race. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Tomac. He's trying everything. Marvin keeps closing the door. Oh! Who's going to get the exit of the corner? Finally, Tomac is able to execute flag out, as you mentioned, trying to get Tomac back. You might as well let it all hang out now. You got it. You've given it everything you've got. This is a difference. It's a six point swing. But uh, oh, oh, Marvin! Marvin is down. He hits the back of that jump. This guy, by the way, is okay. He's still 14 seconds ahead of Barsha, so he's still solid in second. Marvin went down, but he's got this. He does. Eli Tomac, a spectacular first moto win. Do it again. Let's go racing. Right next to him. And Roxon able to take the lead away. So, motosport.com, whole shot to win. But Roxon, your early leader. Roxen, this is where he does his work. The early laps, Whoa. he is a sprinter, and he is already pulled away. Yeah, he is checked out. Fifth. And there is Dylan Ferrandez. And right behind Ferrandez, you got Eli Tomac. And Tomac's down to the inside of the number three. The very last second. He's going to run that outside. Eli is all over this racetrack trying to get around Ferrandez. Will he cross him up? It almost looked like he stole the bike as well. Just the bike just came to a standstill in the middle of the By turn. Muscan. So Ferrandez has passed both Muscan and Craig. Tomac now has two riders to get around if he wants to keep pace with the series leader. He's going to have a good sweeping line in this turn. And oh. Tomac right around Muscan as well. Mark has clawed his way back to Ferrandez. So they made moves on a couple of riders, Craig and Muscan. And a heartbreaking moment for Aaron Plessinger after all of those podium finishes. Can you give us an idea of what you felt out there on the track that made you pull in? Stop seeing that steal. Oh! Ferrandez almost down. And Tomac, who's been putting serious pressure on him, goes by. Coolant, and that's when the engine's going to start melting. Yeah, and we saw our first look at the steam coming out. Ferrandez is in fourth. Seen Cirillo third. Tomac has gotten around his teammate up to second. Yeah. But uh -oh. guess what? I was about to say, Eli Tomac has put in a huge charge. I didn't expect him to get there that quickly. Oh. And just like that, Tomac's in the lead. Now, a lap ago, Tomac ran an unbelievable 216, about four seconds faster than Roxon yeah. or anyone else. And just like that, what was a seven second lead for Roxon is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's long gone. <laughs> and so is Tomac. Wow, checkered flag about to come out. Eli Tomac looking at the Moto victory. It would be three in a row in the second. Gates down. And he knifed through. That's one of the Honda riders. Is it Kent Roxon off to the early lead? Right, and there is Chase Sexton, your series leader, up to fourth, challenging Dungey for third. Right, when that happens, look at this battle. We're trying to find Eli Tomac. I believe that's him in the red gear. On in these races, the guys up front. Jason, they have a clear track, so they're able to put in fast laps and build a huge... Firing into this pit and back out. No, wait, Tomac out of nowhere makes the move on Plessinger, and now he's got Canning under his sights for Tomac. 
Man, that straightaway is so rough right there. And that is full commitment by Eli Tomac. To make those passes, like you said, I and mean, we reflect back on qualifying earlier. He was the fastest qualifier in the first session and ended up going back to where they were bike-wise in the first. So the comfort should be in that place that he was in. 235-pound motorcycle up and get back going. Your heart rate gets elevated. Very hard to get that recover, uh, heart rate down. And Tomac leaping. Bike out. Boom, he goes down. Wow, and that really is a specialty of Dungey. You hardly ever see the unforced error. So now he has some ground to make up. Heart rate Tomac. goes and not holding your breath, finding your breathing rhythms as well. Tomac has caught Chase Sexton. As the front runners for the championship, they're pretty much 25 points ahead of the rest of the guys. We're already halfway through Tomac this. Tomac closing rapidly from fourth, but they still have the deal with Roxon and Craig. So as we expected, Vachi Barsha and the local canning rounds out the top 10 and the fans coming to life here. Want you guys to watch Eli Tomac. The inside, very, very rough through here. Can he handle that rough terrain and make the pass? I believe he has. Can Sexton respond? Sexton has been briefed. He knows how well Eli rides the track. If he can do the best he can to follow Eli, see what lines Eli is. And most of the riders, and that just shows you how comfortable he is. Eli Tomac is in that Monster Energy Yamaha Star Race. He's on the inside. This different line might work to his advantage. Here it is. He'll overjump this, get the power to the ground, and Tomac's up to second. Very well so far. Man, look at the gap that they're opening up. Christian Craig has opened up a gap. They close any hope of catching at least Eli Tomac. Tomac stalking Craig, sets himself up. He's going to have the inside at the end of the straightaway. He doesn't even need to get there. So now Christian Craig. And this is part of the legend of Eli Tomac. The fans call it beast mode by having a reputation for throwing no. it away. No, he's right there. Not too far away. But lead here in Lucas Oil Pro Moto Cross. Eighth to first. Eli Tomac crosses the Lucas Oil finish line and wins. Reps are up. Gates down in Moto 2. Roxon has two motosport.com hole shots today. And Plessinger third, that's about the best start we've seen. And Dungy, yeah, but great, to your point, great to see Plessinger up there. I want to see what he can do with a good start. He's had speed all. Trying to get, oh, he's trying, there he goes. He got it. So that'll move Tomac into the number four position, Justin. Track absolutely brutal, brutal, like, oh! They almost came together. Room than I thought, Craig just moved over, and you saw Tomac shake his head. Yeah, maybe I, Craig was taken by surprise. I don't, yeah, I, I think he was taken yeah. by surprise, Jason, to his teammate or anyone for that matter. The risk is just too high. And Tomac this time able to take the measure of Craig. Just you imagine that'd be incredible. Yeah, to go from 9 8 last weekend. He started the year at Monster Energy Supercross with a runner up ride yeah. in Moto One. Took a few laps to get going, but boy, is he ever going now. And points are valuable for both of these riders. Anderson would not like to consider himself eliminated from title contention. He does not want it. But Tomac has not blown by these no. two the way he was doing it in Moto1. Well, and then I go back to, you know... Free the, rider duel for the lead at Southwick. Big, long straightaway here. Tomac going to try to carry a ton of speed. It's like waiting, 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 yeah. waiting for the other shoe to drop up here. And what direction will it go? Will be Plessinger the final 15 minutes of this one. Tomac pressing. Plessinger, Tomac's trying to set himself up on the inside here. Here's the big leap. They're side by side. It is. Oh, I got him. Is he going to have a clear track? He does. He's right there. 14 minutes and two laps. And now Tomac's in position to go for the lead. Classic. That is a tough spot that Ken Roxon is in right now. It's like a lone <laughs> man on an island. He could <laughs> doing the same thing against Ken Roxon. See right there, mm. now he goes a little more inside. Like I said, it's less. Oh, he's gonna send it around the outside here. Long way around, puts him on the inside. What a move by Tomac to grab the lead. Plessinger trying to respond. He's all over Roxon now. He wants second here as well. Did well as a uh, rider in this national. Oh, yeah. He's part of the crew. We go back to Eli Tomac. With At Mount Morris. Really? Yeah. All last weekend, Red Bud, now this weekend. And he's passing everybody. And he's embraced by the fans as Eli Tomac goes 1-1 at Southwick. You know, this is a gnarly, gnarly points race. Uh, obviously, neither of us has uh, really made a mistake yet or blinked, and uh, we're both pushing each other. Um, AP was right and awesome. So was Kenny. I had to work really hard to get to the front of that one. 
This place is a lot of fun, but at the same time, it brings a lot of pain. I mean, at the end of that moto, your legs are done. So thank you to all the fans. Thank you, Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha, Alpine Star Oakley Bell Helmets, PPG, and uh, another great weekend for us. Thanks so much, Eli. Congratulations. You are now only one point off the points lead.